First of all, Josh Taylor got a first round knockout on Saturday against his mandatory Apinan Kung Song, who I don't really understand why he was the mandatory for this fight. I mean, Josh Taylor, as far as I know, has two different belts. He's the top guy at 140 um, outside of Jose Ramirez. And it seemed ridiculous that somebody on this level that was this young and kind of inexperienced and hadn't fought any opposition of significance for the most part, why he would be the mandatory. This is where I start getting confused about what the belts are and what the role of the belts is because, you know, when you see mandatories and it's tough guys, it's it kind of makes sense, right? Like we're forcing the very, very best to be accountable to fighting a certain level of opposition. I don't feel like this was that. It was a, it was a really weird mismatch. You know, I looked Kong Song up on box rec and he was ranked like 160th or something so the idea that someone that's not in the top 100 on box rec would ever be the mandatory for a title seems ridiculous to me so i think this was just alphabet soup bullshit and um hopefully we can get taylor ramirez as soon as possible there's really nothing to even talk about with this fight he landed a weird right hand of the body the guy went down couldn't get up you know i'm again i'm not hating on kong song He's, uh, you know, he's, I'm sure he's a good young fighter. It's just like, how do these guys wind up in these fucking world-class opportunities? You know, especially in a stacked division like that, where there's an abundance of talent for Taylor to have, you know, exclusively challenging fights. Why a fight like this could ever happen is beyond me. I don't fucking get it. But aside from that, Taylor looked good. You know, he looked tall. He looked like he's going to be, he looked like the fucking future welterweight champion, if I'm being honest. He's a big, tall guy for a junior welterweight. And uh, once he fights Ramirez, I think he's probably going to beat Ramirez. That's just my opinion. I think he's a better, longer, more explosive version of Postal, of Victor Postal. But uh, that's obviously the fight to make at 140. Hopefully they make that as soon as possible.